Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation testing series. This is our ninth tutorial and in this particular tutorial we will learn about the comparison operators. So let's begin. Comparison operators in Python are used to compare two different values or the variables. So these are used to compare two values or variables. Okay. And this operator will return a boolean value either it will say true or false based on the condition being evaluated and these are essential because when we need to make a decision in the code that would be really helpful there are different type of comparison operators in python so let me list down them here so first one is basically equal to and in python it is represented as double equal sign okay then we have not equal to and the symbol used is basically this one and then we have greater than greater greater than and the symbol used is this one then we have less than and the symbol is this one then we have greater greater than and equal to equal to so the symbol used is greater and equal and similarly we have less than and equal to and the symbol is less than and equal to so these are the comparison operators available in python now let's go to the pycharm and do some practical work around these ones so let me go to the pycharm here and let me create one new python file i will name it as comparison 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 operators now let's take an example here for example a is equals to 5 then i'll say b equals to 5 then c equals to 10 okay now let's compare them directly i will say in print a is equals to b and similarly we will do it for a is equals to c so in first case a has a value of 5 and B ha is also having a 5 value. So when we compare, so it will, this will return us true and the second statement returns false because 5 is not equal to 10 here. So it will return false here. So when I run this one, you will see that the first will return true and the second statement return false here. Okay. And in the similar way, what I'll do is that let's go here and i'm using this print statement again here and instead of equals to what i will do instead i will now say not equal so i will say a is not equal to b and let me copy this one paste it here and i will say a is not equals to c so what happens now the first statement we are saying that a is not equals to b we are saying that 5 is not equals to 5 which is false so it will return false here and in second case it will return 2 because a is not equal to c because 5 is not equal to 10 here so let's run this one and see what happens so you see that false and true okay so we have seen equal operator we have seen not equal operator here and now let's see about the greater operator here again let me copy these lines of code from here and paste it here and instead of these operators let me use the greater operator so if we talk about this one okay so we are saying that a is greater than b which is actually a false statement here right and because 5 is not greater than 5 even 5 is not greater than 5 so so let's so 5 is not greater than 5 false and 5 is also not greater than 
10 again. So both the statement will return false here. But what I, what if I change the value of b equals to 3? Now 5 is greater than b or 5 is greater than 3? Yes. This time it will return a true value here. So true and false. Now let's go with less than here and let me change the sign to the less than here and let me change the sign for this one here as well. Now we are saying that a is less than b. a which is 5 is less than b which is 3 so it will return false here and a is less than c a is 5 and c is 10 so it will return us true here so let me run this one you see that false and true now we have covered equal not equal greater than and less than now let's see about what is greater than and less than so let me copy these lines of code from here and paste it here and also these lines of code and let me paste it here now let's update the symbol for this one so basically the greater than and equal to and here greater than equal to similarly less than equal to and less than equal to okay so these are the symbols we have learned so far now let me comment this line so i don't want to show these results as of now and let me comment this one here as well okay so when we talk about greater than and equals to so basically what happens is that we are saying that either a is equals to b or a is greater than b so any of these statement if any of these statement is true it will return us true so if a is equals to b true or if a is greater than b it is true in either case if any of the statement it is true we will get the true answer okay so in this case a is greater than or equal to b so a let me change this to 5 here now a and b has the same value okay so a is equals to b it will return true and it will return false but eventually any of these statement is true it will return true here so for this particular statement it will return true and now if we are saying that a is equals to b in this case okay so a is 5 and c is 10 okay so a is equals to c and a is greater than c so the first statement is false because 5 is not equal to 10 but the second statement is a is greater than c again this is false so both the statements are false here okay both the statements are false so it will return false here okay now let's run this one and see so you see that we have true and we have false here okay and if i say c is greater than a now now what happens is that basically c is 10 10 is greater than a so if i change this one c is equals to a or c is greater than a so the first statement will return false because c is 10 and a is 5 so this statement will return false but the second statement c is greater than a is true 10 is greater than a 10 is greater than 5 right this is true so this will return true now so you see that both will return true so the same principle will be applied when we are working with the less than and equal to okay so let me uncomment this one and a is less than and equals to b 5 is less than or equal to b so this is basically true and again 
a is less than or equal to c yes so the first statement it is saying so if, if i talk about in this way so a is 5 is equals to 5 which is true or we are saying that check 5 is less than 5 right so basically this statement is true that's why it will return 2 and again if we talk about the second statement here so we are saying that 5 is equals to 10 or 5 is less than 10 so the first statement here is false and the second statement here is true in this particular case here so basically if any of these statement is true it will return a true here so if i run this one you will see that it will return true and true here so that's all about the comparison operators in our upcoming tutorials we will learn about more different categories of the operators in python thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial